Now to a final farewell to former Congressman John Dingell. More than 100 loved ones lined up this morning around 8.15 to pay respects to the Dean of Congress. Dingell's final resting place will be in a brand new park that will extend the life of Arlington National Cemetery for another 10 years. 7 Action News anchor Carolyn Clifford was at the service and covers the emotional goodbye from start to finish. Hey guys, we are right outside the gates of Arlington National Cemetery here in Virginia, where we watched former Congressman John Dingo be laid to rest. It was an emotional ceremony for uh, loved ones, of course, his wife, Debbie, his children who were right there in the front row. But what a fitting way to say goodbye to Michigan's hero. After two funerals, one in Michigan and one in the nation's capital, the road ends here at the historic Arlington National Cemetery. It will be former Congressman John Dangle's final resting place. The 92 year old was a proud World War II Army veteran who loved the military and veterans of all branches of service and even has the John David Dingle VA Medical Center in Detroit named in his honor. Arlington National Cemetery is across the Potomac River from Washington, D.C. There are 624 acres here where the dead from our nation's wars have been buried beginning with the Civil War. It will be one last celebration and send off for Michigan's legendary congressman who served nearly 60 years in the House of Representatives. A well-deserved tribute to the Dean of the House, but for his wife, his love and partner of nearly four decades, this day may be toughest on her and their children. The actual going to Arlington and saying goodbye. And when they fold up that flag and give it to you, that's an emotional moment no matter who it is. But if we've learned anything covering the home going of this political icon, this giant, this bigger than life of a man, the care he has given so many will be returned to the family he's dedicated his life to. That they are loved. They will never know the love that John had for them. But there's a whole lot of us that love her dearly and love the family dearly. You know, guys, those close to Congresswoman Debbie Dingo say she can finally have some peace now that her beloved John is in his final resting place here at Arlington National Cemetery. But what a fitting goodbye for a true national hero and Michigan's champion. I'm gonna send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Carolyn, thank you. Well, it's back to business for Justice Ruth.